Bonnie Jill had a chance to catch up with Drew Robinson, who announced his retirement uh, from the game of baseball. And he's, of course, will uh, play through this series. His last game will be Tuesday. And here's that interview with Drew. Bonnie Jill, take it away. Thanks, guys. Now, Drew, thank you so much for your time. You know, for me, it was very inspiring to see you every day out here you know, in uniform when a lot of people in your situation would have given up. Yeah, it's, it's been one of the most amazing experiences. Um, I know I worked really hard to get back here, but there was plenty of times where I didn't think it was actually going to happen. So the fact that it did and the fact that I was able to come out here and, and just get back to what I was doing beforehand, um, it's just special and it, it's so it's so powerful and it just means a lot to me and everyone that supported me up to this point. That's got to be exciting. The next chapter of your life, you know, being able to mentor these Giants players and being the mental health advocate. I mean, that has to mean a lot to you to be able to mentor these guys. Yeah, that's just another part of this story that's just so surreal at times. And the fact that the Giants believe in me and believe in the message that I've been spreading to maybe have an impact with some of these players, um, it's, it's special. And it's something that it's kind of intimidating a, a, a little bit, but it's something that I'm so excited for because I've realized by being back that although I love this game and I love the process, I'm also really excited about maybe helping people enjoy the game a little bit more. If there's a way to enjoy it health, a little more healthy, um, I'm so excited for that. And if there's a way that I can do that, I'm so excited. And I think that's what I'm going to find uh, moving forward. And it's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Now, how did this role come about? I mean, is this something you propose to the Giants? Do they come to you? And what kind of duties do you think you'll be doing? What do you like to do? Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy it happened because, I mean, just getting back into baseball and getting back in the grind, um, I wasn't as equipped as I thought I was going to be from a mental standpoint. I like to quote it as I, I was a 12-year minor league veteran, but I was a one-year rookie when it comes to the mental side of things. So when I got back into baseball and I started seeing the same challenges that I had before, I fell into a lot of similar habits and I, I got to some dark places again. And I just kind of shared that with the Giants. I was really struggling at times. Um, don't know if this is the best thing for me. And when I realized that they just being like the amazing organization that they are, they started to go to work and see if there's a possibility to keep me keep me around in a more um, suitable way. And with this opportunity to do that, um, it's just amazing how it's working out. And like I said, I'm just going to be more excited for it. Now you retired this weekend, so how much time before you head up to the Giants and start getting to work? <laughs> I have my first staff meeting on next Thursday <laughs> after the Tuesday game, so I'll be jumping right into it, and I think it's perfect for me. I don't think I would do well with a bunch of downtime, so getting getting right to work is exactly what, I'll, what I would want and what I need. And lastly, you've been with the River Cats this season. It's got to be pretty memorable that you've shared a lot of great experiences and made some great friendships with the skipper and the players. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that's, that's the other part about this is getting back to baseball is one thing, but being able to kind of just go through the, the daily grind with the guys again and just get those interactions that mean so much to me and that's that's something I've said even before an incident that's something I knew I was going to hold on to for the most for the rest of my life is all the friendships and relationships I've built with teammates coaches personnel everyone that's involved with this game it's just it's such a beautiful thing to have that and to be able to get back into that environment again and just get to know the guys get to know Brundy and just get be around the game again and to be treated just as if I was another one of the guys um, because that's something that could have easily been avoided too, and maybe tiptoe around me or treat me a little hesitantly because of my situation. But the fact that they just treated me exactly the same, um, it, it's been so special and it, it really um, just a powerful thing. So we'll see you back in Sacramento, right? Yeah, a little absolutely. bit? I'll be here. Me and me and my service dog, Ellie, we'll be, we'll be back. I love Ellie. I know I wanted to see her, so she'll be back with you? Oh, yeah, she'll be back. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much. I can say for myself and all the fans watching that you know, you've been an inspiration, and we're looking forward to the next journey, and we're we'll rooting you on, and we're excited to talk to you again when that time comes. Okay. Absolutely. Thanks, Drew. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, that's an outstanding mm. interview by Bonnie Jill Laughlin. Uh, incredible. And what a story he has and what a story he has told and he will continue to tell.